Hey, what's up guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to another video. As you can see, we are here working on baling corn stalks. I did the headlands already and uh, have so far made 23 bales. So, making quite a few. I did do some testing. I made another save game on this map and uh, I did find out the corn stalk bales we cannot actually use for bedding but we can use them for uh, feed mix so um, we are gonna keep all of these corn stalk bales and what we're gonna do is since we're gonna be grinding all of our bales up anyways um, we're going to grind these as well as um, we're going to grind these up as well as some of our alfalfa bales and then we will uh, make it makes forage and then it registers under uh, hay in the animal menu so we're going to do that, and then I did also test the mixer wagon that we have, along with a couple of others, and they do not register regular straw bales as straw. They actually register them as cornstalk bales. So um, we're going to have to get a bale processor. Um, I did put together a list of equipment as well as fields um, and what it's going to all cost us. It is going to be a hefty, hefty amount, but I'm hoping that it'll pay off to uh, do it. Um, we are, the way, I, with everything I figured out, um, Let's just do a rundown here. So, in equipment alone, we're going to idle that down. In equipment alone, we have $1,688,271. Um, for all of the farmland um, if that I would like to get, uh, which is going to be, let's take a look here. Uh, so it'll be 110, 111, 103, 102, uh, 113, and then 107 and 108. For all of that, to purchase it is $967,751. Um, and then our total of the... 25 cattle that we're going to buy uh, between the 23 cows and the two bulls is a total of 23 or sorry $38,219 now if we were to lease all of the land that uh, we're looking at it would be $348,264 uh, $348, for one year roughly um, so if we were to get if we were to purchase the land and our equipment it would be two million six hundred and fifty six thousand twenty two dollars and that is without cows now if we were to rent the fields buy our equipment and our cows it would only be two million seventy four thousand seven hundred and fifty four dollars so um, I looked at what our max loan would be and our max loan is one million seven hundred and seventy nine thousand three hundred and seventeen dollars that leaves us two hundred and ninety five thousand four hundred and thirty seven dollars short of what we need to um, 
buy all of the things that we would like or you know, I'd like to get. Now, once I turn around and I sell all the equipment that we are not going to need, that is all worth $350,518. So if we do all of that, that leaves us with around $55,000 extra without including in whatever we get from selling our grain. So, that being said, once we are done baling the corn stalks and we get these home, then uh, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be lining up machinery to uh, be sold and then taking delivery. So, what they are going to do for us is they are going to bring new equipment and then take old equipment back with them. Um, so that is what we're looking at there. And if need be, if we need to sell a couple loads of grain early just to kind of cover some costs, then that's uh, what we can do. But most of our grain, if we look here, so we've got our oats, our sorghum, our corn, all that are highest in January. Uh, soybeans are highest in July, and then we have sunflowers in March. So even right now, if we were to sell soybeans, we'd get 78 thousand so I mean we could make an additional good chunk of change if need be um, but I would kind of like to avoid it uh, you know ha avoid having to sell it until when it's highest if I can but I mean if it ends up to where it doesn't play out that way then we will uh, we'll change things up a little bit and uh, sell grain early. And I'm ending up leaving a lot in this field because of how different uh, the widths are between the baler and then the uh, windrow but I mean we've already made 30 bales so and we're not quite we're not even halfway done so I am a okay with that and so I also I got all of our harvest equipment washed up and put away and uh, I hooked our um, one pickup is hooked up to our stock trailer ready to go pick up animals and then the other is hooked on to um, our neighbor's uh, bale trailer. Um, we're going to use the auto load trailer again. Um, this is actually their other trailer. They have a gooseneck uh, trailer and then a bumper pull and uh, we just use the bumper pull. So that is sitting in the yard on our square body and I'm hoping that we'll be able to that's one thing I forgot to test and I was going to I'm 
not sure if we can put different types of bales into the um, bale storage buildings at one time or not. If we can't, then uh, I will stack them somewhere around the farm out of the way and then we'll just uh, grab them out of the stack as we need them but we'll uh, we'll see how things end up working out so we'll drive down here and so in the list of machinery um, we're gonna be selling every tractor besides the uh, 1086 loader tractor that we have. Uh, we'll be selling the 4440, the 1586, the Steiger, all that. Um, our combine, our grain head, our sunflower head. We're going to keep the all crop and we're going to use that on sunflowers uh, and get a different corn head. Um, we're going to sell this baler, uh, our bale trailer, uh, what else, cultivator, our drill and our planter, and upgrade to an air seeder and a bigger planter. Um, there's a lot of stuff. I mean, granted, some of it wouldn't necessarily need to happen right now but with us purchasing as much extra land as we are we're gonna kind of want that so are already almost to 400 bales or sorry not 400 I was reading the 200 total bales um, we're almost to 40 bales already off of these corn stalks it would be nice if the corn stalks could be fed uh, in which I don't know if that's something I'd have to change in the map or if I'd have to change it just in the barn that we're using. Uh, just if I need to add in, you know, corn stalks <clears throat> as a straw type. Uh, I might look into that and we'll see. But doing it this way, at least for now will work but you can't feed the corn stalk bales straight you gotta have some hay in with it to make it forage so what I'm planning on doing is doing a mix mostly of uh, mostly corn stalk and then doing just enough uh, hay to make it um, to make it turn into forage then we can try and burn up these corn stalk bales uh, first and then use our hay and if I I might do some digging into it and see if I can get uh, our barn to work with having corn stalk bales as a straw. Because if that would work, then um, we wouldn't, like I said before, we wouldn't have to do oats next year. And then we could just use these for uh, bedding purpose 
which is more realistic than using it as feed anyways. And I did also, too, figure out uh, the mixer wagon that we have holds cracked corn and our barn takes grain as a feed for our cattle and cracked corn happens to work for that so I'm thinking that we might uh, buy a couple truckloads of cracked corn from in town and uh, also do that as a feed to kind of improve uh, or to up our productivity of our cattle. That is the goal anyways. Obviously our finances are going to play a part in that because we will have to buy the cracked corn because I don't think I have anything that would allow me to take corn and turn it into cracked corn. Um, I am going to dig into that a little bit too and see if I can either find some mods to download that do allow it or else um, we'll just have to buy it. Because if I can get something where, you know, we can turn our corn into cracked corn and then get it set up so that um, the corn stock bales work as bedding, then corn would be a definitely one of our bigger crops because we can we can gain a lot out of it I mean we gain not only do we gain corn that we can sell but then we have corn that we can turn into feed and we can turn the uh, leftover residue out of the combine into bedding so that would be the way to go and I mean it'd be it would definitely be handy we wouldn't have to do an extra crop just to get the straw and then we wouldn't have to buy cracked corn so I am definitely going to do some digging into that and uh, see what I can find like I have a mod for a mixer you know this in real life this is what you would use to kind of crack the corn Uh, you know, something similar to that. Or I know of a guy uh, down by the area of the farm that I work on. He's got a uh, big hay grinder similar to what we have on this save game here. And he can uh, run corn through it and crack it. You know, it'd be neat if we could do that with the hay buster that we have. That'd be something that would really be something to have to mess with, but I don't think I don't think I could get it to where we could do both with it, but maybe maybe I could, I don't know. That'd be something I'd have to dig into, but that's a project a little over my head I think mainly because it has been a long long time since I have messed with any kind of scripting so 
I wouldn't even know where to begin on that. up a little bit of these le left bits fill up down into that valley. Oh well. I don't think we're going to get all of it bailed in uh, today's video. But we'll definitely get a good portion of it done. So then we might, uh, once we get our new machinery, we're going to have to do some rearranging of our buildings, kind of redo how some stuff is set up, or the placements of some things, I should say, to uh, accommodate our new equipment. And with the equipment that I kind of planned out, uh, not really sticking with any one brand. I mean, we're sticking with a John Deere combine uh, at the moment. And then, I mean, a John Deere drill, a Kinsey planner, there's some Parker, there's some New Holland. It's kind of all over the place. I'm not really sticking with just one major brand so you guys will have to let me know if you kind of want to stick with that throughout this whole series you know just kind of a mix of equipment or should we stay John Deere should we stay Case I can't really stay just New Holland I don't really have enough equipment that is just New Holland. I've got a few tractors and a few different combines, I think. That's about it. So, I mean, can't really just run New Holland, but I could run just case, or, you know, majority case, anyways. Um, and then majority John Deere can do them that way or kind of stick with just this variety that we got going keep it interesting I guess Good 
madness. Just bail after bail after bail. They are all over in this field. If only our alfalfa did this nice. Granted, our this field is bigger than that too, so that's part of it. But but next year we'll have more alfalfa ground, and hopefully we'll make a good chunk more of uh, hay, and then we'll. Uh, expand our cattle operation. I think our barn holds like 150 head. So we definitely got quite an amount of room that we can uh, kind of mess with. So I kind of want to stick with buying our cattle in groups of 25. So, buying 23, um, 23 cows and two bulls. Around a dozen apiece per bull. So then we should have a good calving rate. That's the goal anyways. Obviously it in farm sim it really doesn't matter, but I like to try and play somewhat realistic. At least the best that I can in uh, farm sim aspects, anyways. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up the baling off camera and then I'll probably get them all hauled back um, actually we've only got four rounds left so I think we'll just finish it up we're almost done and then I'll haul them all off camera and get them stacked and stored away and everything and then uh, when we come back next video uh, we'll have all of our machinery lined up ready to be sold and we'll see maybe maybe they'll be hauling old stuff out as they bring new in. I'm not entirely too sure of uh, just what they were quite planning on doing. Maybe they're just going to haul in all of our new stuff and then come back for the old. I guess i uh, just have to find out. Two bales of windrow. It's insane. And these are short windrows, even. Another thing that we could do with these is we could always sell some of these corn stock bales if we uh, needed some extra cash. I mean, they. Yeah, we can put them to use, but if we needed to sell them, we could. I mean, we've already got $56,000 worth. 57. So, I mean, if we needed a quick 
20 grand or something, we could sell a couple loads of them, but I think we should be all right with the way I've kind of got stuff figured out. And then once we factor in selling grain, we should be pretty okay. At least that's kind of my thought process. Plus, I mean, at the moment we still have 60,000 in the bank. And we could always do some custom field work if needed too. Make a little extra cash, so. I mean, if we look, uh, I guess there's only a bailing contract at the moment. Which is another thing that we could could always do. I think, was that actually even on? That's even on that grass field right over there. So, there is always that. How much is that contract for? That's 15,000. That's a decent contract. And that's another thing too. If you guys wanna see uh, us do, I mean, I'll refer to it as custom work. I mean, it's just contracts, but um, I mean, we could uh, look at doing some of them from time to time to kind of make a little extra money. If we need it. Now because we are getting rid of this baler, I'm not going to be too worried about um, making sure it's empty, but I probably still will. Because I mean we should be able to get just about another bale off of this windrow, if not another one, yeah. And there's enough laying around the field where... You know, if we're only partially full, we can always drive around, pick up stuff, and fill it. There's definitely enough laying around that we could do that. But, I think, we'll see how fast this windrow fills us. I think this will probably be the last bale that we make. We're going to have to drive around anyways and pick up a little bit to uh, finish it off. This just isn't going to do it. But that was that last, like, four rows of corn, so it's kind of to be expected. Just try and drive around, find enough to fill us up, and then we'll call it good. So we shouldn't need a whole terrible lot more. We are almost to 90, so we'll try and pick up these thicker ones here, and should be able to get us filled. Well, I know that we'll be able to fill it, but it's a matter of how quick. We're 
almost there. So close. There we go. Perfect. Let's dump out this last one. And we'll see where we're at. take this thing back to the yard 71 bales so we made just as many corn stalk bales as we did oat straw bales and just as many as we made hay bales off of all three cuttings <laughs> off of just this one field this field's even smaller than that oat field was, so yeah, if I could if I can get these to work as uh, you know, count towards straw that would definitely be the way to go I mean, we can just bail up a whole bunch of them and then whatever we don't need you know, like right before corn harvest we can sell whatever we got left or something like that I did also go and mow the yard got that all cleaned up and uh, looking nice so figure might as well mow it once at least uh, before winter comes the only sucky thing is the mower drops a windrow Alrighty folks, that's going to do it. I'm going to get this put away, get our bales hauled in, and uh, then we'll get everything set up for um, our new machinery. And then next episode we'll take a look at the new machinery, and then we'll get our cows home and start getting all that stuff rolling. So thanks everybody for watching. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. If you have not done so already, be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. And as always, folks, we'll catch you on the next one.